Hey everybody, Stacy Wells here again from Stacy Wells Artistry, and I'm doing another little eight by ten up and cut pour because um, I have quite a few of these little canvases and need to do something with them, and I just like doing these little pours. They're fun. Uh, this one is kind of a blue, green, and purple, almost like peacock colors, but I didn't exactly plan it that way. Um, there's some Prussian blue. I like Prussian blue. I use it in a lot of things. And this is some uh, first green by Liquitex. And my Liquitex turquoise, another one that I just love. I'm using lots of stuff. And then. This is a master's touch. I'm not sure what color that is. Um, it's an aqua-ish color. And some uh, Liquitex Doxazine Purple. I'm lose everything off the end. Pink to it. I'm just kind of going back and forth with these. I'm not going in any particular order. I'll just use the rest of that. That's pretty so far. I got plenty of paint here. Because on these, I like to have a little extra paint so I can keep the integrity of the cells. Like right now, how, how pretty and together they all are, you know, I like to be able to choose what I want to keep and what I want to pour off. And um, I can only do that if I have lots to choose from kind of, you know. I'm gonna have a little more purple here. to swoop it off to the side like that so it makes little cells when I pull it off and then it doesn't make such an abrupt um, change from where where it came from you know not like a big hole uh, my torch is working better today I'm so excited paint here um, get on the corners and sides cover good well
some of it off. I hope y'all can't hear all that commotion in the background. Some issue with the dog, it sounds like. It's really nice a lot of the times we just shut up in this room and nothing but me and my paint. It's very relaxing and cathartic and takes away the stress of the world. Okay, I don't really think that's pretty. I like the way that's turned out. I like the cells. It's got lots of cells and they're very intricate and I love it when you can see several different color lines going down, um, you know, several layers like you can on this. I think that's neat when that happens. And I've got like this whole little bag of embellishments over here that I can use. Yeah, I've got like little jewels and a whole bucket full of other ones over here. Um, and here's two pieces that I was going to show y'all that uh, I did and embellished. There's a there's one, and this is another one that um, I put the embellishment on, and I got the resin done. I'll try to show y'all those afterwards so you can see how they turn out. You know, it's one thing they all look good when they're wet, you know, but to see them after they've dried and you got the resin on is when you can really see what what's happened. I'll take a look at this up close. I think it turned out really pretty. See those multi-layer cells going down there? I think that's cool when that happens. Well, I appreciate y'all being with me again today. Um, please um, tune in to my other videos. I've got several on paint pouring. I've got some on stained glass and resin art. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel like it. I'm new here and it really does make me feel good to see that somebody's out there listening and looking and paying attention and all that. Because um, it's kind of um, lonely when you don't hear from anybody. But anyway, thanks you guys, and I appreciate it. I have gotten some comments and um, a little bit of notice, and I'm happy about that. So keep it up, please. It makes me feel like this is all, you know, going somewhere. All right, have a good day. Thanks a lot. Bye.